Welcome back to Cosmopolitan Anonymous. I am your favorite. Or maybe I'm not your favorite, but that doesn't matter. New Mama, Bougie Vintage, and today's video is a makeup recreation. The last time I did this kind of video, I was getting dragged a little bit, so I'm back. And this time I probably won't be getting dragged because um, even though the video is titled How Issa Rae's Makeup Should Have Looked, in Cosmopolitan, I think she looked absolutely stunning and there were no flaws, okay? There was no flaws with her makeup at all. She just looks super gorgeous. I'm inserting a photo because bitch, you need to see her. But I really wanted to recreate this makeup look for weeks now because this picture actually came out a while ago, but I was obviously busy with other things, so I didn't get to film it. And I'm here to film it now. That's all that really matters. So we're going to start by priming our face. I'm going to take my Smashbox primer water. I always use two primers. Whole lot of primer, okay, because you want your shit to stay on. And um, obviously I'm going to use two primers, so I'm just going to let this dry real quick. I did have coffee today, but I had the new caramel frap. Um... I think it's ultra caramel and so I'm not as hype as I was yesterday but I'm still pretty high bitch yes I is I actually meant to film my brows in before I got started but I was so excited to film that I totally forgot so here I am so primer numero uno is on my second primer is my Fenty Beauty primer which I need to replace soon oh yeah oh we're, we're having issues here Get your lip. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's done. I wish that I could take this top off because... <laughs> well, hello there. There's... Oh, no, 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 honey. There is so much in there. This ain't nowhere near done. We're just gonna have to use it like that. I'm glad that this was easy to come off. Fenty Beauty really knows what they're doing. They are really like catering to the consumers here and I'm super happy to own these products. I'm just going to apply this veil here to my face. And my AC is on. If you follow me on Twitter, <laughs> then you know that my AC broke like three days ago now or four days ago and it was literally like living in hell I really was like repenting <laughs> I was like let me repent for my sins if this is how hell hot is if this is how hell no if this is how hot hell is bitch I don't want no parts let me repent and get my life and be a good human being because I cannot live in hell like Oh my god, when I say my house was so hot, and I know it's a first world problem, I know you don't give a fuck about what's going on, but like, my AC was real life broken, and I was having a really hard time, because it was just me and baby, and she was, she's on me all day, because I'm always feeding her, and she doesn't want to be put down, like, if you put her down, she's crying, she's a diva, she's a brat, she's my child. <laughs> so, that is not a surprise, but... It was way too hot and so I was like, I don't know what to do and so I went through a whole bunch of different scenarios with the damn... The point is I was struggling in the heat. I really was and it wasn't fun and honestly dying would have been way more practical than living through that shit. I never want to do that ever again but the AC is fixed now. However, I think because I have so much energy, I'm hot and I almost want to adjust the AC but... We ain't gonna do that, child, because I'm not the one that pays that bill. And I ain't trying to get cussed out. <laughs> so, where was I? I guess applying my makeup. I don't really know why. Why did I just start ranting about the AC? Did I say I was not as hype as I was yesterday? Because I think I just lied. Like I lied to the damn lady about not having any cash on me. <laughs> I got the bag on me. Anyway, I'm just cleaning my makeup brush off. I have wasted six minutes. I'm sweating. This is not okay. I almost want to open the window, and I think I'm going to just because a beach is hat. Did I even talk about Issa Rae's makeup? Issa Rae's makeup in Cosmopolitan was perfect. Poifect. Payfect, okay? It was freaking amazeballs. She had a bunch of different looks, but the one I'm recreating is, like, the teal look. One of the reasons I wanted to recreate her look... Sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm taking my Fenty Beauty um, foundation in 
410. One of the reasons I wanted to recreate Issa's look is because I've been a big fan of Issa Rae since before Insecure, okay? So a lot of people don't know this, but Insecure is like kind of like a spin-off or like the Hollywood version of Awkward Black Girl. If you don't know what Awkward Black Girl is, that is a website Issa Rae used to have, awkwardblackgirl.com. And my friend Nikita actually put me on to that website when we were like in high school or like shortly after high school. And we used to watch Awkward Black Girl every week. And I love that show. And so when Issa Rae came out with Insecure, everybody kept recommending Insecure for me, but I just wasn't watching it because, I don't know, I don't know if I didn't have time or what, but then finally, when I was in like the last weeks of my pregnancy and I was home and fat and like, <laughs> I couldn't really do much, I was at home binge, or no, I think it was after Salem was born and I was just at home in bed and stuff, I was binge watching shows and I decided to binge watch Insecure and then I didn't know that Insecure, or Issa Rae, was Insecure. Like, I didn't realize until after that Awkward Black Girl and Insecure are the same thing. And so I always just really related to Issa on the show, but like, it was, it's been so many years, I didn't realize that that's who it was. And so at one point I thought Issa was trans because <laughs> I heard her talk for the first time at like an interview, and I'm like, is is Issa trans chat and then I felt really bad after because I'm like okay she's not trans she's a full grown woman and I'm dumb so um, but yeah the point is I'm a big Issa Rae fan and that's why I'm doing this look just like I'm a SZA fan did y'all hear SZA singing recently chat I can't. <laughs> I can't. I need this to recover a little bit more and then come back to the drawing board. But when I did the scissor video, my intent was to do the look perfected. And I think I should have changed the look a little bit, but I kind of wanted to just do exactly what the artist tried to do. <laughs> but just not have it melting off the face and I wanted to show products that wouldn't melt because they're waterproof and whatnot which is exactly what you need on a red carpet and so that's why the video was the way it was but like people were coming for me because they're saying that I'm hating on SZA and I'm doing the most and I'm like listen I could never hate on SZA y'all probably ain't even streaming her her fucking album regularly like I stream SZA I still stream it to this day like I stream her album to this day because it's such a good album I'm upset that she's retiring like she's doing the most SZA is a freaking angel but her makeup artist had her fucked up and I pointed it out and it is what it is okay so this time though though I do require a good dragging every once in a while because let's be real here I'm a bitch <laughs> I don't think I deserve to get dragged for pointing out the flaws in her makeup However, when we do this video, this recreation right here, there will be no dragging because Issa's makeup was literally perfect. And I chose this look because it's so simple and easy to do. I'm trying to find like a... I cannot find my paint pot for the life of me. Like it's been days. We can't find our paint pot so I'm going to go in with my Milani eyeshadow primer. But yeah, enough about SZA. Back to Issa Rae. If you don't watch Insecure, it's an HBO show and it is so good. I cannot wait for the new season. I won't be reviewing it even though you probably want me to. Actually, it depends on when it starts. If it starts while wow Power is on, which it probably will. I don't think I'll be able to review it for you because I, I can only do one show at a time, honey. Like, this is not like some review channel. Like, I just, I can't. Hell, I'm not going to talk about reviewing the damn show because I'm not about to be making empty promises. I am definitely a woman of my word, so making empty promises is not for me. I'm just applying this to my eyelid and I'm stopping right in the crease because the look she has is just one color on the lid one color under here and it's like uh it follows the shape of her eyeball and Issa Rae has a really pronounced eye socket area so I'm gonna stay true to that look I'm gonna check crayon case first no the color is not in here so I'm going to go ahead with the Masquerade palette by Juvia's. I'm going to take this shade right here because I feel like that's the closest shade to the shade that Issa has on. The look she has on is very like editorial. There's no blending in the crease. Like it's really just high fashion. 
it's really nice so the color I'm taking is Zola so we have it on a flat brush I'm just gonna press it onto the lid like this and work it higher I have a completely different eye shape than Issa so I might have to modify this just a smidge but for the most part it should be just like hers I've been doing a lot of blue looks lately and you guys keep telling me blue is your color and I'm just like thank you I'm a pink girl but I must admit the blues have really been attracting me lately you have to be careful with putting shades like this into the crease because that's where you're gonna get transfer with glitter shades so once I actually apply this I'm going to set it with my setting spray hopefully it'll keep it in place I'm having a little bit of fall at you I can't and we're gonna do the same on this lid so of course she has the blue on her lower lash line as well and I'm doing this before my concealer and then probably once I'm done my makeup I'll go back in over top of it I look like a raccoon <laughs> but no worries no worries at all so now that this is on my lid I'm just going to spray it with fix plus okay thanks for making so much noise outside I'm going to take my NARS creamy radiant concealer radiant creamy concealer whatever and I'm going to begin to cover up this blue honey because there is so much fallout on my face and I didn't wipe it off and I also put on my setting spray before attempting to wipe it off so the blue is gonna stay I was trapping out the condo hunters in a mattress my dog told me said the fans got him 50,000 in a metro housing trapping trapping that's a marathon trapping trapping to the damn gone this for trappers only this for trappers I did not color correct oh my gosh wow who do I think I am <laughs> I think I'm allowed to just be out here uncolor corrected my makeup might look like ass today how could I forget to color correct and I didn't even fill my brows in yet like <sighs> I fucking hate coffee but I need it <laughs> I need it I feel like I look like Maya with my hair like this I know it's a little bit of a reach Maya is like super pretty I'm like a two and then I put my makeup on and I'm like a five <laughs> just kidding where am I so yeah there's a breakout on my face I haven't seen a pimple on my face in a very long time but this is not even like a pimple like there's like a big like rash there I I've been eating chocolate bada bee da 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 I missed using this because I've been using Fenty a lot, a lot. But you can see how much of a difference this is from the Fenty. Like the Fenty goes on really dark. It is so freaking nice outside. Like just looking outside, I want to go out there because the sun is setting and it looks so gorgeous. So I love ABH to contour because it has that red in it so it kind of makes me feel bronzed and it works really well with my uh, um, powder and it just it gives a more natural contour than anything which obviously I prefer like I like to apply a lot of makeup but I still like to look 
more on the natural side. And because I'm doing a recreation of Issa Rae's makeup, I she's not Instagram makeup. Like she doesn't have on 10 pounds of makeup. She's very lightly done. She's really pretty without makeup. So, you know, everybody's not that fortunate. Some of us have to apply a little extra. But that's okay too. For contour, I'm obviously gonna use my MAC Mirror Light Skin Finish in Dark Deep. This is my favorite. And I'm just patting it onto where I just cream contoured. I'm not doing too much rubbing. Just patting it onto the area. I was wondering why it still looks so shiny. It's because I didn't set my face. I'm like, what is going on? And I have not done my eyebrows yet. What is wrong with me? I really should not have coffee because clearly, clearly, it fucks with my brain. Now, this is me on caffeine. Imagine me on marijuana, okay? Imagine me. Ow, what the fuck? Ow. I have buttons stuck in my butt. <laughs> that hurt. I'm gonna set my under eye area. I'm going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder, but while that's setting, I'm going to do my brows because I don't want to set this area up here and then fill my brows and I should have filled them in a long time ago. Hell, I should have had them done before I even got on camera, but a bitch forgot, so is what it is. And I'm going to do my nose, but I'm not going to do my forehead. So I'm going to fill my brows in with my Benefit Cabral. My brows need to be threaded really badly. If I zoom into my brows, you guys are going to be like, bitch, get your life. I actually don't like the way her brows are filled in. Um, brows are tricky. I probably don't like anybody's brows. I don't even like my own brows, so <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna like somebody else's brows. If you guys remember my old videos, I always used to put my brows on last before I set because I didn't like to get powder in them. But I don't have that issue, so now I always do them first, but today was the exception. I don't think we're gonna get sisters today guys we gonna get distant lovers we're gonna get uh opposites attract <laughs> but we are not gonna get sisters today i don't think i haven't really threaded them in like a very long time i'm gonna set my brows with my brow setter by benefit Yeah, I filled my brows in really badly, but I don't even give a fuck. Like, is what it is. Ba ba boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Before I get rid of all this powder situation, I'm going to use my cyan blue, cayenne blue. I think it's cyan, cyan, girl. Whatever it is, I'm going to do the waterline because I really want it to pop and stand out, you know. I'm actually doing the lash line. I'm not doing the waterline. The waterline has to be black. So we're adding that and then we're gonna add the shimmer color on top. And then I'm gonna take Black Black by MAC and I'm gonna get the waterline real quick. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. And we're gonna go back into the magic palette. We're gonna take the same color we use on our lid. We are going to spray some Fix Plus on it just to give it some help, you know. And we are going to run it on this lower lash line here. And so, like I said, I'm getting a little bit of transfer on the crease so I'm gonna take Burkina which is out of the same palette and I'm just going to apply it into the crease a little bit just to mute that blue down and now we must dust away the banana powder so something that is standing out to me is Issa's blush she's wearing a really pretty pink shade so that means I'm gonna whip out my Bobbi Brown duh <laughs> I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown blush, and I wouldn't say her blush is intense, but it's definitely pigmented, and it's going up on where her contour is. Ugh, that little breakout there is really stressing me. For highlighter, I'm gonna take my Sun Dip Glow Cap, 
and of course I'm gonna go with bronzed and even though I said subtle I mean it's probably not gonna be subtle <laughs> I'm going to apply a little bit of my mascara to my bottom lashes and Issa is not wearing any falsies but what the fuck do I look like not wearing falsies so I am going to throw on some falsies off camera and I will be right back my camera actually just cut off because my battery died but um, I was saying Issa actually has like a silver shade on like the inner corner on the bottom so of course I'm gonna take my Stila liquid glitter and glow and apply it down there to set my face I'm going to take my fix plus matte And then I'm going to take my um, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix as well. And so we arrive at lips. I am going to line my lips. <clears throat> Even though Issa doesn't really look like she has her lips lined. I'm taking a soft brown shade with a red undertone. I'm gonna take Single by Fenty Beauty. This has kind of been my signature lip these last couple of weeks. And I'm gonna apply my lip glass by MAC in the shade Roulette. We Issa Rae, bitch. Issa Rae is freaking iconic. I know I said it earlier, but if you have not seen Insecure, First of all, you're missing out, but secondly, you need to binge watch. I told y'all in like my last video, if you haven't seen Power, that you need to take a week off work <laughs> and binge watch Power. Well, for Insecure, you need to binge watch seasons one and two, and three should be out soon. From what I hear, I don't remember when they said it was coming out, but it's coming out soon. This is a finished look. I'm obsessed with it. My hair looks kind of cute today. This is how... I want my, like hello curls how are you I feel like I'm giving wild thoughts tease a little bit you know just a little bit just a smidge just a smidge wow 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 you know what I need to jam out with my clam out who way insecure Anyway, you guys, I love you all, and I'll definitely see you in the next one.